Wow. What's up guys? Welcome to the new rock on vlog. Yeah, I'm super excited. I hope you too. And today we have three things. First one, the Mad Rabbit, the 250 stunt bike and the 790 Duke, also my stunt bike. What's the third thing? We are on my stunt spot, which means that today we're gonna do a vlog full of stunts everything what I can do in that short time and we're gonna talk about my stunt bikes and Dominic Headlands what's up man did you wake up yeah it's not morning everymore how not man it's <laughs> I feel like I'm still sleeping but uh, you said you have some challenges for me right for sure okay you're gonna show me that later so let's suit up and let's throw some tricks around rock and roll A new combination yeah old new I didn't do that trick for a long time okay let's do some more I see you have support here. Frankie, good? Good tricks? No good? Good? He don't understand me. <laughs> I see he loves your tricks. Oh, I need a break, man. It's We started from, what, 9 o'clock? Yeah. Till, how much is it now, actually? It's 2 o'clock already. And <laughs> it seems I know why I feel so tired, man. And it seems like the bad weather maybe yeah, catches us It's already again. waiting for us, like last time. Wait, now. City? I need to show who's the boss. What the boss Mariana is not here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the bike. The Mad Rabbit. Yeah, what's the feeling of the new bike? Because we didn't do a lot of stunts on it. That's actually true. So yeah, the feeling of the 250 Duke is actually amazing. I know I've been riding that bike for last like three years. And uh, now the update that we did, it's actually again a next level bike, especially the suspension. We just changed the uh, WP suspension and it makes the kangaroo stop is uh, all the tricks that I need to press and have the rebound way, way better. So uh, that's a huge improvement on the bike since we launched that bike. And then the second one is actually we improved the protection of the bike. So we always had a sub cage, but I start to learn some tricks where I need a bigger crash cage. Why? Because I can hang my feet on and help myself to make some tricks. And because of the new tricks, I have huge crashes, which I need to protect the front part of the bike. 
So that's why we built a bigger crash cage. These two things we changed since we launched the bike. Everything else stayed the same. And the new setup of 2020, since I rode that bike now for nine months, uh, I can say now that we did a step forward in terms of uh, setting up the bike and uh, improving the bike. And what means that for me? It means that I can do better tricks. Of course, that's always the goal. So I really love the Mad Rabbit. It's really a really a cool bike that we did. So huge respect to my team and especially my designer Zeitz Master. Since that bike, everybody loves it on social media and he did a really cool job on designing that bike. Hey, I have a good idea. Uh, let's see which bike uh, the fans love more, the new stone bike or okay. the Razant. Let's do a pool in the video. 250 Mad Rabbit versus Razant. Okay. Because these, these are the most tuned bike that we made. That's true. That's one is true. a street bike and one is a stunt bike. Okay, guys, let's see which bike wins. And yeah, KTM through the years developed into a brand that is also very, very uh, popular as a stunt bike. So through the years also a lot of different KTM riders were born and I'm following them and I really love their tricks and I'm influenced by them also about who I'm talking about you can see now those guys are like killing it so yeah we have KTM riders all around the world and yeah guys keep on going I would like to see more and more stunt riders on KTM bikes and this is a little bit also your fault that KTM is <laughs> I, I would say yeah of course there were also other riders before me on KTM they were also very very good that was like way back in the day I hope we inspired a lot of stunt riders around the world through the years and since I see the comments uh, on our YouTube channel and uh, other social media we definitely did so thank you guys for supporting us and uh, yeah uh, give us motivation to keep on going okay now enough of talking I have some challenges for you. Oh my god, is there a lot of challenges? <laughs> Everything hurts, man. I don't know, we're gonna see what we can uh, do in this place to stay creative. True, let's, let's see what we can do. Let's go! Tell me your challenge, man. I see you have a lot of garbage on your stunt place. Oh my god, don't tell me that, Wh which, which is not your fault, but uh, maybe you see there the yellow oh, the and, arches. And your place is getting f***ing dirty. Yeah, man, it's I freaking hate McDonald's. It's something new that we have in that city. That's our first fat fast food in our uh, city. And the result is that, that my practice spot is extremely trashed. But yeah, what should we do? Okay, but uh, yeah, let's show them how we gonna recycle that sh Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, this is your first challenge to okay. clean the spot or what? So I saw on Instagram you did something with this. <laughs> and let's see if this was a first try. Of course, man. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Okay, now let's see if this is going to be really a first one. No, no. Damn it, man. <laughs> okay, now you're shy because this is a big camera and... Yeah, actually, that's true, man. <laughs> Last time was only the phone and now big cameras make me nervous, man. <laughs> so that's why I have one more try. Nicely done. I told you, slow motion, first try, I told you. <laughs> because the Instagram clip was also in slow motion. <laughs> ah, that's the thing. I know, bad excuse. Okay, uh, you told me you have a few more challenges. Let's do a few more. Okay, let's go.
Frank, I'm okay. My right knee again. Yeah, I had an operation this year and my knee, I have a bit pain now. So let's try a bit more tricks, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, oh, yeah, the bike is actually okay, just the foot pack. That's done. Luckily we have the crash cage and the sub cage and the front packs. Yeah, that's why you should protect your bike, not only on stunts, but actually for the street in case of small crash or a big crash. Bagarosh Performance. Get your parts at bagaroshperformance.com. My knee feels okay, so we have the 790, Dominic. Should we do some tricks with a big one? Let's go on a big bike. Let's go full throttle, man. I'm done, I'm tired. We banged up my knee pretty bad, but luckily I could continue. This is it, what we could do in one day. I think we did a lot of tricks. And now to finish it up in style, you can enjoy some cool bike porn from my KTM 2020 stunt bikes, the KTM 250 Duke and the 790 Duke. Enjoy. I could stare at those bikes the whole day. It's like, I'm proud of myself and especially my team. The bikes that we create, they always look, in my opinion, really, really nice. I hope you agree, guys. And uh, by the way, if you're interested to see how we build those bikes, you can click the links in the description. You have build of vlogs from the Mad Rabbit and you have a build of vlog from the 790 Duke. We still don't know how we're gonna name that bike. If you have an idea, you're more than welcome to drop in the comments below. And for the build of series, you can click uh, somewhere here right I always forget which side this side I think this side so you can click here and watch some build of vlogs hey, but uh, I saw you had a lot of fun with both of them oh yeah <laughs> today but if you have to choose just to have this one or this one for I don't know for stunt riding which I is knew, more fun I knew this is gonna come man this question <laughs> yeah today I had a lot of fun I love stunt riding man and tricks with the bikes but that's actually a 
tough question because it's hard to compare completely different bikes in terms of tricks and how they work it's a huge difference in power and so on but if i would choose let me point out some few points why this one the 250 duke light ergonomics are good so a standard bike is easy to tune into a stunt bike it's light so i can throw the tricks around faster it doesn't have this extreme power and it has a very smooth power delivery which means that it's if i do a mistake it doesn't punish me so quick so i can really correct the, if i did something wrong with the clutch or the brake and so on so it's a really good bike not only for the beginners but also for experienced riders as as me i would suggest if you want to start stunt riding 390 duke 125 duke 200 250 both of all those four bikes are really good for stunts and then yeah this bike is lacking on the power and the 790 definitely has a lot of power as you can clearly see i love drifting with that bike and you know i started to race on the weekends for myself as my hobby and this helps me to feel better at the high speed on the bike so it's important for that bike because i like the high speed on the drifts and then pull it up and go into a wheelie and, and high speed stop is and this bike has a very very strong power as i said about 9500 horsepower uh, the next thing that i would like to point out actually on both bikes wp suspension but also the 790 has it adjustable front and rear and it makes the bike completely different more controllable uh, no wobbles it's you can really fine tune it adjust it and it really helps me on the tricks you can find also a build off vlog in the description below how we tune that bike with wp suspension so from the good points there is one point on that bike that i struggle with and it's the long swing arm here which is good for corners and normal riding on the street is actually way way better than a shorter one but on the stunts it creates a very weird feeling and the balance point is weird so i need to really to adjust when i do circle wheelies and stuff like that it's easier to do on the 250 duke but here i'm still struggling so i'm trying to find a solution how to improve that this is my answer actually i didn't answer you which bike so i i would say actually the 250 is actually more fun because i'm still developing that bike this bike is not perfect yet for me we always need like around two years to make a proper perfect stunt bike so this one i love it for the drifts and this makes a lot of fun but then i like to throw the tricks on the 250 duke and i would go this time for the 250 duke dominic that's my answer that's my favorite bike in 2020 maybe this is gonna change in 2021 we're gonna see okay guys this is the end of our ktm stunt vlog i hope you like it click the like button and important click the notification button so you don't miss our vlog bring some friends to our channel and don't forget to share our vlog it's really important for us and that's it see you next week until then rock on mm -hmm.